Hello and welcome. We are at the Billund Airport. About to take a look at the official licensed Lego store that they have. Now, this video is very much a case of price increases and if it is worth getting it from here, getting it from your local Lego store or trying to get it from elsewhere. Now, this was filmed on the 9th of September 2022, just after the price increases. So I did try and make a conscious effort because I know a lot of you were asking uh, with regards to the pricing and things. So we will go around and have a bit more of a slower look at the larger sets with regards to how much differ they differ in price. And then um, you can work it out and sort of go, go from there. So for example, that's 297 euros, 1,999 Danish kroner for the Home Alone house. And again, for the Batman Tumblr, you're looking at 251 euro, 1,799 krone, and then 554 euro for the Harry Potter train. That is scarily expensive. The big other Harry Potter set, you're looking at 279 or 199. Um, and then moving on, 545, you've got to guess the set for the Colosseum. Now that was uh, a 350, 400 pound set, I do believe, when that, that came out, Harry Potter. Is 489 euro, so 3499. Uh, that was in a Smith sale for 250 as well. So the 8080 obviously was out at a large price, and then it's got even more expensive. There it is, the world famous big block of cheese coming in at 741. Um, and then all of the other random Star Wars sets that they've got on offer are looking at 223. Obviously, this is the euro price, not. The Danish Chrome, and then uh, I will start zooming in on some of the other sets just as a, a bit more of a comparison. So 167 euro for the camper, and then this is the the new one. So this is their new pricing structure currently. Obviously, there was a price increase on the first of September, so you do get a 20% discount, mind on these prices so that's what you've got to take into consideration so with the 20 percent discount does it work out to be any cheaper or have they just put the price up by 20 percent to then bring it back down by 20 percent to be exactly the same as what it would have been originally or is it still 20 percent more than what it was in the previous video that i did because i was only here a couple of weeks back so this video might actually get uploaded earlier on into the trip just because it is obviously current stock and current pricing so even though this is the last video that i filmed over the two days i might upload this sooner rather than later so it might not be uploaded in a perfect and in a perfect thing for this sort of batch because it just kind of makes sense with everybody coming here at least you get a good understanding of how much these sets cost the new modular set you're looking at 223 1599 chrome and moving on to the next one, that's 433. Got to guess the set, that is the roller coaster, 433 euros for that now. And the motorized lighthouse. Now, I did manage to pull these boxes out and actually have a proper look at this. I'm very, very impressed with how this one looks. Um, 2065 pieces, obviously, is the most expensive Lego sets ideas set. And again, the modular is 195. So it's there or thereabouts the same in pounds. It's not too far off because the pound is so weak at the moment. So if you are watching this from the UK, obviously some of these prices are are quite strong. Is this this is two fourteen pounds, isn't it? So two twenty three euro. So you take twenty percent off that, you will have a saving. But then you've got to bear in mind that potentially your boxes will get damaged if it goes underneath in the hold. If you can get it above your head, then you're absolutely laughing but you are allowed to take a bag with you, but you can only take one. So everybody was doing it. Um, it was a bit of a snowball effect. The reason why I do it this way, and I mean, it's still a 20 minute video, but the reason why I don't get to do what I'm doing now on everything, it was actually a couple of flights ended up getting canceled. So a lot, there was a lot of angry people about, so they all came in and just picked up some bits and pieces before they went. Um, there was a member of staff actually in here for the first for the first ever time that I've seen because of the times that I normally get the flights because this is on a Friday night. So Friday night they had extra flights on and they all bottlenecked up because three of them were delayed. Mine was delayed massively as, as normal, the last person to leave the airport and the poor people flying to Manchester um, because I do believe there was thunder strikes um, going on at that point. That all got cancelled, so lightning strikes and everything. So they, they did cancel. They did cancel the flight back to Manchester. So hopefully everybody got back safe and sound. But you can see this shop has an absolutely amazing selection of everything. So we've got all the big sets and the small sets. And I have said this in basically every single Lego store billing video that I have done. This store is located 
after security when you are flying off to your destination, not when you have landed in the Billund Airport. So please take into consideration if you are thinking of just stopping in to use this as a normal Lego store, you can not. You have to have a ticket and you have to be leaving the country to be able to come in to pick up all these bits and pieces that you want. But you do have a choice of still going to the Lego house, the theme park and the two smaller um, bits of shops in both types of accommodation, which is the Legoland Hotel and the Lego Castle. So you do have options available to you if you wish to take them, but this one, not so much. I'm not a fan of that little Star Wars set just there. It doesn't look like it's much of anything to me on that one, but I've always got a bit of a beef with the Star Wars, the Star Wars sets, but, you know each to their own so in the comments below let me know if there's anything that's standing out let me know if you're if you are working out the prices i suppose the ones really to work out are the uh, like for example the home alone house because i know there's a couple of people interested in that so mr jd that is for you um is it cheaper getting it from here because they are still only at the lego stores in the uk i know it's different for you guys over in the states um and actually there's a lot of videos either already up or to come depending on like i said i will get this up probably sooner rather than later so they will still be to come depending on when you're watching this that the independent shops around billand are much much better stocked than our local uh, toy shops so these guys and girls over here have loads and loads of these sets they even have the home alone houses they have the coasters and things like that where they don't seem to have as many sort of direct to consumer or customer sets at their stores which i find quite weird uh, i know walmart in america are now doing a thing where you're getting a giveaway purchase with your sets over in the states as well so maybe they're having less and less store exclusives and they are forking it and pinging it off to um other shops and things like that but let us know let us know where you have to go to to collect yours can you get it from a toy shop or do you have to get it from a official lego store because obviously the prices can differ absolutely massively i said bearing in mind you will get 20 percent off these prices when you spend over a certain amount of money which everybody will do uh, i would imagine so um but also the lego technic sets i still don't think they're worth it with the 20 percent off especially in the uk because if they hit the sales at for example smith's or anywhere john lewis argos anything like that the technic just does not seem to hold its value anything up to the point where you can get 150 pounds knocked off certain sets if not more so take that into consideration with regards to what you do collect but they have everything new in here they've got the little nano gloves they have the nasa space bits and pieces they have completely rearranged the store yet again from when i was last time to what we are six weeks apart from each other or maybe eight or whatever and now they have moved all the lego classics they've added in lots of sets and they do have all of the new minifigures which we are about to have a quick look at now so they have a good selection of those no i didn't pick up a single figure but you can save um if you get three i think you then save a little bit of money on them as well so they have got like a a buy three offer going on on those but you can see how very well stocked this shop is now all the minecraft that we are looking at now has been put into this location this i do believe was all the lego classic sets last time i came but the whole of this was and they had the 90th anniversary of play sets on show a little bit more as well which they've only got in that sort of back quarter and they've got some bits and pieces on the floor so how do you like the layout of the shore? Does it suit your needs? Does it have absolutely everything here? I'm sure it will do. But would you be worried taking the box back? Or aren't you fussed about the box? I don't understand why people are so funny over dented boxes when you're going to open it up anyway. And half the people that moan about the tabs on the boxes, two, two or three posts later, you're then burning the boxes. So just need to need need to control yourselves on the on the whinging of that i don't understand it whatsoever um but yeah to me just rip them open obviously i, I keep some of the boxes with the modular sets because i always think the um the artwork is what sells the set so it's all sometimes nice to look at or even if you cut the boxes up and then you can put them on the wall or or whatever it is you want to do if you are collecting to obviously resell it's a slightly different story and that i understand but don't forget here you can get the much more expensive sets in the thicker gray cardboard box so it should protect it a little bit more unless you're 
baggage handler decides to do a massive elbow drop or a double knee drive as he throws it onto the bottom of the plane. Now this had sold extremely well, the tumbler, because there was a group of people and they all picked up one of those each, which is um, always nice to see. Now you've got all the Eternal sets and you've got the horrendous Thor set. The goats obviously are very, very popular. Oh, you can discuss those two films in the comments below if you like them or not, but... It's, they weren't my cup of tea for, for those two. Now these, I thought, I think these are new to me. I, I hadn't seen any of these. So you've got all the, the new Spider-Man and all the Venom um, bits and pieces from obviously Sony. And then we've got a lot of the DC stuff, uh, all the different ages. It is bizarre that some of the four plus sets do come with really good minifigures as well. So that's, that's always a thing to look for. So if you ever see some of those four plus sets, always check the box for the minifigures because sometimes they do come with different torsos, different prints and um some of the hard to find minifigures sometimes seem to be in the four plus you've got the new batman you've got the dark knight uh, they did not have the classic 66 car here which was a shame um i did not get anything on this trip at all i just wanted to do this as a scouting mission um and then i am i am coming back later on in the year but it now is going to depend if i come back at halloween or at christmas so you can look forward to look forward to those uploads at a later date but I am struggling to think of any actual sets that they are missing apart from that 66. Some of the dots maybe aren't there. They've got a lot of the Speed Champion cars. One or two of the sets are actually completely sold out. So I think the Lamborghini was missing. I think maybe the um, Le Mans Ferrari had gone as well, unless there's one of those boxes left. All of these were still here and the stock was the stocks was still very, very strong with regards to these sets. Um, I don't think, apart from the dots, and maybe actually the flower, the, the, the flower sets, um, they didn't have a full stock of those in. I think when you come in, you're going to be really, really spoilt for choice. So hopefully you guys and girls still will be. They had sold out in some of the Lego City uh, sets. So where, in fact, I think it was the trains. I think all the trains have gone. Um, and a lot of the, the fresh sets that I had spoken about uh, previously, they had all... They had all gone and disappeared. Um, but you've got, like I said, you've got massive selection. You've got all the three-in-one creator sets, I think, almost all of them that are there. Um, the Ferris wheel is a good good set. You can obviously make a couple of other different bits and pieces up. You've got the big crane. The tractor would be there somewhere. There it is. Uh, you've got the cement mixer. What are we missing? The chase. So you've got the hospital and the um, police station side by side. And you can see the pricing of... Of those sets, it's obviously their their popular. So that's 125 euro. Now that was in a sale in the UK for 45 pounds. So some of the sets are massively different on prices. You've got the car transporter. Again, again, you've got to take this with a pinch of salt because some of the sets will be 20% off. I really do like this little picnic set. I think I need to pick this up at some point. Um, maybe either add it into the theme park or just in in the Marvel display, depending obviously on the price of it. And this I was quite surprised about with how large the actual fire set is. We actually did manage to see that built and on display for the first time. Of course, they've got all the stunt sets. So these are the easy grab of water, entertain the little ones when your flights are delayed like they were. So like I said, a lot of people did come in. I think one or two people even did start to build some stuff um, just because some of the flights were delayed by nearly two hours, I think. So it's part and parcel. It was very, very bad weather um, the night that this was filmed. So... I was just lucky that I filmed all of this on my flight delay. So, because it was so busy the first time I came in, I couldn't really film it. So I came back in and managed to get it all done and then just eat into a little bit of time. And where the video actually started, there is a really nice um, burger place where you can get some really nice wraps and sandwiches as well. And their tables go all the way up and round across the top so you can get out the way a little bit of the hustle and bustle and just keep your eye on obviously the, the times the flights if necessary but we've got all the harry potter going into the friend sets uh, i did skip this time all the um history of the company because that is available in multiple videos that are going to be uploaded or have already been uploaded from this visit in the home of the brick playlist so if you want to know more about the company head over to that playlist after and obviously this is in the lego store playlist so there are four videos i think from this trip filmed in september 2022 so we can start comparing all of the different prices now i did also film the stansted airport the new 
um, shop that had just opened up in Stansted. That is actually scheduled to go live this evening of this voiceover. This is obviously another <laughs> new thing that they've added in. They've added in like a grabber box. So all the boxes are the same price. They are 99 Danish Chrome. And it's just your choice. So it's just like a pick and mix, pick and choose which one you want, take it to the till and you're away. All of the calendars are out, all the advent calendars are out. So if you cannot pick them up on the lego.com website or your stores are completely sold out, this might be a good one to grab, again, depending on the price. And the big block of cheese is out in all of its glory. And the main thing is also in the brown box. So if you do want to get it, you don't have to damage it. Somebody on um, the flight before mine, I saw them, they took the castle. So they picked up the castle and they uh, tried to get that onto the actual plane. So where that would be going on the plane, I'm not too sure because everybody knows how big those boxes are because it's not going to fit in the thing above and it's not going to fit underneath your seat. So I'm not 100% sure if they suddenly throw it underneath the bottom or, or what. Uh, they did not have the new Christmas tree. That's another thing that I just thought of. They didn't have that. They did have only that one set of flowers. That was a... Obviously, this is getting all ready for Christmas. And they've got the reindeer stuff in the bottom left, but they don't have the new Christmas tree out yet, which I would have picked up uh, probably from the um, Lego house if that, was, if that was available. Now, this is now €97, Euro, 699 Danish Kron. That, I know, has gone up because we looked at that in great detail last time and it's gone up by a fair chunk. So this is the limited edition of Billund Airport, one of 10,000 made. Now we are starting to run out of time. Hopefully you found this useful with regards to the price increase. That's why I've tried to get this video up sooner rather than later, like I have said about 50 times now. But guys, if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Anything that has caught your eye, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the prices. Is it still worth doing or is it not worth the risk of getting your boxes damaged if you really do want to do it as a collector collector where you keep them sort of mint in the box then obviously if that's your sort of thing would you risk it um but like i said somebody had picked up one of these castles for 377 so 2699 danish krona you can start off to take 20 percent off that and then start working out the mass is it cheaper getting it from here or your local store but yep, as always, let us know in the comments what is on your list. Would you ever come here? Have you been? What do you think of the store? And then you guys can just start helping each other with regards to who has sales on, especially as it's starting to get a little bit closer to Christmas now. I know it's a naughty word at this time of the year, but obviously people need to try and save up money where they possibly can. So it's, a, it's, it's just one of those things. But they do have, obviously, some of the smaller sets. They did have um, these Brickheads. And they had the sort of build a minifigure packs of three, which are already pre-built. Lots of different pencils and anything and everything there. They've obviously got some of the little bits and pieces out for Halloween. Um, none of the sort of like larger sets for Halloween had come out just yet. I didn't see any of the brick heads for Halloween yet. Um, maybe they'll come out on the 1st of October potentially, or they might come out. They might be out now. I don't know when when they get released for, for that date. But guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave you alone sort of just for like the last minute. I'm gonna let you soak everything in. And guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You guys take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-da.